Good morning. We are keeping an eye on that frost out there this morning. We've got some right on the vehicles, the windshields of uh, Luther Family Ford down in the southern end of Fargo. And conditions may be just right where you are, too, where we've got the clear skies, the lighter wind, and the temperatures below freezing for frost to form where you are. And there are some places uh, on the road surfaces, too, where it's a bit frosty. So uh, be careful out there as you are hitting the roads this morning. You can see our camera shaking a little bit in Fargo. We've got some wind trying to pick up from time to time. As we take a full view of our sky cam, you can expect to see uh, some clear skies as you're stepping out the door in most areas too. If we can pull that up, full sky or full screen of our sky cam. Thank you. We're looking at some traffic starting to pick up a little, but it's still pretty quiet out there this morning too. Here's a look at our temperatures. 31 degrees in Fargo. It's 25 in Grand Forks and 24 in Devils Lake over to the east. Some below freezing temperatures too. some upper 20s, 28 in Detroit Lakes, Bemidji, Wadena. It's 37 in Sisseton. That's the warm spot this morning. Most of us are at or below freezing though here in the valley and wind is a little bit on the the brisk side from time to time. There are a couple of places here where we see those winds pick up for a short while, and that's the case right now in Bidette. We have a steady speed of 15 out of the northwest with a gust to 22, and at least at the top of the hour, Fargo reporting about 10 mile per hour winds out of the northwest as well. So mainly it's quiet, it's clear. We've got a nice view of the stars and that crescent moon this morning. We're seeing some of those clouds dipping into the northern valley, but overall it's pretty quiet here to uh, kick off our Tuesday. Now we continue to need to watch to the northwest. We've got this northwesterly flow overall, that upper air pattern just continuing to drive in these weak waves moving through the valley about every other day essentially. And we're going to see another one move in, a clipper type system. So those typically are fast moving. Don't create a lot of precipitation, but it could cause an issue for you if you happen to be out in it as we head into the evening hours for tonight. So let's take a look at our timing of this here in our hour by hour planner. So the more Morning hours starting off mainly clear, mainly quiet. We will see some clouds start to develop as we head further into the morning hours. We've been seeing a couple of them already this morning up north, and that will continue, but a lot of places will enjoy some sun before we start to cloud up. We're looking at some sub-freezing numbers back into the 9 o'clock hour. Heading into noon, still kind of working our way at warming up here for today. We'll have temperatures below freezing up north and mainly getting into the above freezing range in the south at that point in time and the clouds really take over as we head further into the afternoon. So heading into work, you're going to enjoy the sunshine. Heading home, you're more likely to be dealing with some gray skies and perhaps you may be driving out into some precipitation heading into the afternoon. This is three o'clock. Temperatures will be in the 30s to around 40 in the south. North, we kind of hold right around freezing or even below that this afternoon. And that means snow, but also we may see some of that snow stick as we head further into the evening hours as this clipper moves in. So this is 6 p.m. You can see the snow on the cold side of this. On the warm side, we've got rain and there'll be likely be a mix in between as this continues to sweep through. It's going to be pretty fast. That was six. Four hours later, it's on the eastern part of our viewing area. You're getting snow there around 10 o'clock and then it continues to sweep through and we clear out in time for the overnight hours for tonight. So fast mover will be some wind with that as well as that makes its way through. So here's a look at our potential for snow. Southern Valley will have a mix or rain likely, so I'm not expecting accumulation. Northern Valley, if we do get some, it'll be about an inch or so most uh, that we'll see with this. So pretty light round, but still creating some slick spots. Check out Wednesday back into the 40s. We may even see 50s. I think we will see 50s in parts of the Southern Valley. It's going to be toasty. And then the weekend we return to more December like weather as we make um, that transition. I don't even want to focus on the weekend right now. Actually looking forward to Wednesday this Wednesday week. Wednesday looks great. All right. Thank you, Lisa.